October is traditionally one of the slower parts of the year for Amazon FBA booksellers. But if you find yourself wondering why you're so slow, and if you're the only one, the answer is probably still yes. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how some booksellers are still pulling really great volume and what you can do to fight off some of the slower times of the year. My name is Manny, and this is Manny's Book Bag. What's going on, everybody? It's Manny, and I'm back with another video. Hope you're all having a fantastic October, and you're getting a really big jump on quarter four prep. I have been prepping and shipping like a crazy person, and I hope that you have too, because it's starting to look like this quarter four is going to be an awesome season, and I'm here for it. But one of the questions that I am beginning to see all over Facebook has a lot to do with current sales and volume. If your business has drastically slowed down and you're wondering if you're the only person that is experiencing this, chances are the answer is pretty close to yes, and here's why. Of course, for booksellers, there's going to be certain times of the year that are just naturally going to be slower than others. In February and March, you would just be getting over textbook season and it may be very difficult to maintain that kind of volume. It happens again in the summertime as the kids get out of school, people go on vacations, and that's kind of where they're spending their money. And then ultimately it happens again around this time of year. Around October, we just got past textbook season. It's not quite to the point where it's Black Friday yet. So we're kind of in between right now, big bumps in sales volume. And this is what a lot of people are experiencing right now. So if business is slow right now, the most important thing that you can understand is that not everyone else is either. Now this leads to the ultimate question of this video. If you are so slow, why is it that other Amazon booksellers are experiencing such good volumes and consistent sales? Now one of the things that a lot of successful sellers are gonna have in common is diversity of their product. We may sell books and CDs predominantly here, but we are extremely diverse in other products. Where books may start to slow down in October, we've got other categories that pick up the slack. Music, clothing, shoes, grocery, toys, especially toys leading into Black Friday, they're going to give you the opportunity to sell some really in-demand, high-ticket items for huge profits. Diversifying your inventory into other product categories are really going to give you the sales bump that you need, especially when it comes to getting additional cash flow in hand ready for Black Friday. I would also say that this is the hardest lesson that I learned this year. Now in March, when the fulfillment fees hit us, I scaled back on my diversifying into other categories. I overcommitted to books and to a certain extent music, and the result was not good. Let me show you a graph that compares my 2016 to my current 2017 sales by month. Check it out. Now what you're going to notice in that particular graph was that I blew away the first quarter. I crushed January and then I beat 2016 for both February and for March. Now you're going to notice exactly what I just told you. Those fulfillment fees changed my game completely. I made mistakes in the way that I sourced and shipped and the result was what you saw from April to August. April, May, June, July, August all sucked out loud compared to 2016 and all regressed. Now the good news for me is that in September I righted the ship, I did it correctly, and I blew away last year's September, and in October I am 39% ahead of 2016, so October is getting smashed. So the first reason why your volume is slower has a lot to do with the different types of products that you sell on Amazon. The second reason that you are slow may have a lot to do with how much you're sending in. I want to talk to you about my business on the personal level, so I'm going to show you another graph. Take a look at this one. Now you're going to notice that this is the graph that I included in my thumbnail for this video, but it's a very important graph because it illustrates the second way that you can combat the slower periods of the year. If the first thing that you can do for your inventory is to sell a wide variety of goods, the second thing that you can do is just send in more stuff. I began the year as a part-time seller on Amazon and I still managed to do pretty well throughout the year. Now, as you remember from the sales graph, I wasn't doing very well in the spring compared to 2016, 
and where you see this graph pick up is the beginning of the summer. This is also the time of year where I shipped to Amazon the least. We had vacations that we went on, the children were off of school, and I am a stay-at-home father, so I did very little in terms of business this summertime. Now in August, my daughters, they went to all-day school, so I'm finally free during the day to take care of business. Cash flow improved in August as my shipping went up, and in September, it is not a coincidence that my sales recovered as I blew away the shipping that I sent into Amazon. You should also note that I mentioned before, I'm up 39% over last year's October currently, and this month, it's looking like I have an outside shot of sending 3,000 units to Amazon. This is really gonna set me up for quarter four. Black Friday, the weekend after, Cyber Monday, all the way to the holiday should be huge. So if you can do these two things, send in more diverse inventory and send in a ton of it, you're gonna be way more resilient to slower times of the year, but there's more. There is a third part of this formula that you absolutely have to be aggressive about or sending in more diverse inventory and sending in a lot of it is not going to be as effective as you think. To truly make a difference, you have to send in your inventory and price it to sell. I'm gonna go ahead and link in the YouTube card above the video that I made on how I price my inventory. I think it's really valuable. It takes a lot of things into account, but really lets you know when you have to be first in line, when you can hold back a little bit, and it is legitimately how I price all of my inventory. One of the biggest measures of performance that I truly believe in is what my sell-through rate is at the end of each and every month. In September, it happened to be 18%. This means that 18% of all of my inventory that was active at Amazon sold in the month of September. Now, this is really huge as far as creating cash flow, getting money back that you can continue to reinvest, and continue to snowball. I think that this is absolutely imperative. If you are sending in your goods and you're sending them in for max profit, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But you should understand that during these slower times of the year, you're going to feel it more than other people are. This is the biggest reason why I send in all of my inventory price to sell, flip it and reinvest it. And once it hits that warehouse, it reprices 20 times each and every day. And that's all there really is to this strategy. There's nothing to it except a little bit of strategy and a lot of hard work. So send in a wide variety of products, send a lot of them in and price them to sell on day one. But here's the question of the day. How are your sales so far for the month of October? And if you were selling last year, how do this year's sales compare to 2016? Are you doing well or have you seen a decline in sales? Go ahead and put your comments down below because there's still a lot of sellers making money right now. Well, that's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video and you want me to make more videos like this one, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support the channel. If you haven't liked this video yet, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and tap on that book bag right there. And while you're in there, hit that bell, turn on those bell notifications, and you won't miss a thing. Till next time, let's go make some money.